I have a word for you and the word is about relocation, transfer. Some of you are about to be relocated to new places. You have been in a place of affliction, in a place of torment. The place you have been living in has been bothering you. In fact, some of you have, do not even have like, enough sleep because you are always worried. It is like there is a lot of fear in that location. There are a lot of things that are happening in the area that you are. It may not even be a physical location. It could be, it could be something else that has been tormenting you, a condition that has locked you out. And for many years, you have cried out to God, and it seems as though there has not been no answer. But you are about to be relocated. You are about to be transferred to a place that is rightfully yours. The enemy has hidden a lot of things from you. He has stolen things that you do not know. But he is going to repair sevenfold when a thief is caught, he repays what he stole sevenfold. Your things are coming back to you. Now, there is a story of uh, a man by the name of Abraham. For those that know him, I mean, you have read the scriptures and you, you have uh, at least some of you have a glimpse of who he was. Now, the scripture says that Abraham was living in the land of the Chaldeans, in his father's land. But God relocated him from that land to another land. He gave him a new place. He gave him a new location. A land that was fruitful. Because if he, was, if, he, if he was to stay in that land of his family, if he was to stay in the land of his father, he would not have developed. He would not have received a blessing. A generation would not have come out of him. He would not have had offsprings. Some of you, the location that you are in right now is limiting you. The environment is crowded. The environment is toxic. It is filled with toxic people. It is filled with people who are not like-minded. People who cause fear in your mind, in your life. And some of the things that are around you are the reason as to why you are in that condition. Could be in the, the environment. And God wants to relocate you. He wants to move you out of that area to another place. And I spoke about this when I gave the example of Jesus, that there was a person that Jesus wanted to pray for. He wanted to heal that person, but he could not do it with that person in that area. So what Jesus did, he had to take him out of that location. He had to take him out of that thing, that town, because that town was a place of limitation. Maybe if the man had stayed in that town, he would not have received his healing because they were haters. God is lifting you up right now, young lady. God is lifting you up right now, young man. Scripture says that the wealth of the wicked will be transferred to the righteous. You have been poor. You have lived in poverty. In fact, poverty has even take, taken up your name. To one extent that people are referring you to your condition. Your condition, your situation, seems as though it has taken over your name. But your situation is changing. Relocation. Relocation to a better place. To a place that is desirable to a place that will support you, to a place where you find people who are like-minded. It has taken so long for you. 
to stand up on your feet. It has taken so long for you to sing a song, to write down, to compose something, to be in some, a place that is secure. But God is lifting you right about now. If I'm talking about you, go ahead and type. Go ahead and comment. Man of God, you are speaking to me. You are talking about my condition. God is about to address it right now. It doesn't matter how many words you have heard. But this is the time. Well, I hope this word has uh, edified you. Uh, listen, I wanted to make this word as short as possible. Because I do realize if uh, these words are made so long, you may not really understand. or not, You may understand, but some people may not really be able to pick up the words that I have to say. That's why you see, I, I say these short words so that you can be able to receive them, to meditate on them. That is the key. Meditate on the word. And the word will work for you. The reason as to why the word does not work for some people is because those people choose not to meditate on the word. Or after hearing the word, they jump onto another word. And that other word that they, they jump onto kind of dilutes the word that God has placed in their heart. If God places a word in your heart right about now, meditate on it. Think about it. Confess it. Let it be a part of you. Let it be your portion. I hope to see you next time. Be blessed.